I'm Rick, and I want to talk about a spear gun I made, a small Euro pipe gun. I called it Euro 2 because it was the second attempt I had at making a Euro-style spear gun. In this case, I didn't actually use a pipe, but I used a piece of wooden dowel as the main stock. I used a 6.3 millimetre stainless steel spear with a single flop of barb. I built the gun to take pinkies in Port Phillip Bay. I wanted something light and highly manoeuvrable. Pinkies duck and weave, and you really need that manoeuvrability. To hold the spear in place till I wanted it to fly, I used a Cimentel or Picasso shot engine. The shot engines are cheap, and they're really made to go in plastic guns, but with a little bit of jiggery-pokery, you can make them fit well enough into a wooden gun. One of their great virtues is that they're relatively narrow, so you can get the center of resistance of the uh, spear gun handle up high and get it close to the uh, plane along which the spear flies. This limits some of the effects of recoil and helps to keep the gun shooting flat and accurate. What is really important with these shot engines is that you support the spear just before it goes into the mech or else they may let go just after loading. Also important is a spear support in the middle which also helps to keep the guns shooting very accurate. All up, I think there's somewhere around about six different lambs in that handle. And if you wanted to include the main waters from the, um, or rather the main tenon from the stock, that would add another one as well. Another feature is having the uh, rubbers aligned with the spear, all pulling in the same plane. I achieved this by putting a cross laminated um, fitting on the end of the stock, mortising it in and then doweling it. When I first tried that arrangement, I wondered if it was going to be strong enough, but time has shown that uh, it certainly is. I lashed the rubbers onto some stopper nuts, which went onto a bolt that went through the front piece of the stock. At the time, all the Euro pipe guns were using hard bridles, so I decided to use a hard bridle too. I think I've had one bridle break and had to replace it, but apart from that, I haven't had much trouble with it. Rather than use a conventional um, shooting line release, I used a wooden clip, which I didn't know how well it was going to work, but it certainly worked well enough. Never a problem. I put anti-slip on the handles. So, how does it function? I built the gun in 2010, I've used it almost continuously since then. It's highly manoeuvrable in the water and it's accounted for lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pinkies. My only real concern is that it's so light. If I encountered a kingfish while I'm carrying it, it might just suffer a little bit of damage if I tried to take that kingfish. 